Hello, welcome back to our third lecture. Now we're gonna transform, transform random variables and standardize them. So we talked about expectation values just a minute ago and we know how to calculate them and yeah we did a few interesting things with our little money game. Uh, we can yeah apply functions to them. What happens if we have two random variables for example x and y and we want to know what's the expectation value of them added then yeah linearity of the expectation value tells us we can just calculate the expectation values independently and add the result easy unfortunately when you multiply them it's not quite as easy unless they are independent like if they're independent we're still allowed to calculate them each and multiply them but if there's a de dependence let's say one six on one dice kind of makes the six on the other dice also more likely and we got a lot lot of six times six like 36 values in there and that kind of changes the result so independence is here the crucial thing you're going to hear that a lot more often how about the variance of these combined random variables well again we can just calculate them separately but there's also this mixed term in the kind of bracket squared and that turns out to be the covariance twice so the good old covariance that we calculated in the first lecture comes in handy here if you have combined random variables and want to get their variance if x and y are independent we know this then the covariance should be zero and this simplifies to just the sum of the two variances. Good. Um, we can use this, take it one step further. Um, how about we transform a random variable? So we've got x and then we do some linear calculations by multiplying with an a and offsetting it with a b. This looks just like a line would be defined with a the steepness and b the offset, like a linear function. And the result here is fairly fairly obvious. So the expectation value of y, of y kind of follows exactly the um, calculation we did, so times a plus b. Let's follow here graphically so it matches, so it does the same thing. And the variance that is not interested in offset, so we won't find b, but we will find this factor a squared. Yeah, if we if you multiply by 2, then the whole distribution becomes wider and hence the vari variance becomes yeah wider as well with a squared. We're going to use this now because we can standardize random variables. Let's just think of an example. If you have a random variable, anything, this is my... PDF, for example, and then you've got a expectation value of mu equals one, and a, I don't know, a sigma equals two. Then the question is, why can't I transform this? Yeah, we, we've just seen here how to linearly transform this. So I get something that's nice and neat, which has a mu of zero, so exactly at the axis. And it's also 
centered uh, centered at zero and is also only wide one so it has a sigma of one that's what we called standardized how do I get there? easy all I need to know is all I need to do is I need to offset my random variable with the expectation value so the new expectation value becomes zero yeah if the expectation value was one then I take one off I'm at zero and then my sigma um, has been two so if I divide by or multiply by one over sigma out of my sigma of two becomes sigma of one or var variance becomes one so now everything's really nicely standardized expectation value of zero and variance of one and we can do that with all random variables so yeah we can put them into tables we can relate them to like different problems and we can always transform them again to apply them to any sort of yeah issue we want to tackle perfect let's look at an example what is the expectation value of x1 plus x2 and they're both like the um the coins we've seen before exactly so we get 0 0.8 which is just the sum of the expectation values and that's yeah obviously two times what we've calculated before the 0 0.4 yeah two identical coins um so let's <coughs> take this a step further can we standardize this coin Right, yeah, what we do, we take off the expectation value, so minus 0.4, and divide by the standard deviation, which is square root of 0.24. This thing, Z now, has a nice distribution, there's like expectation value of 0, and the standard deviation and variance of 1. Great. So now we know how to calculate everything we need. We know how distributions, probability distributions work. Now it's time to look at some and then